as a tutorial safe flow 2.0 uh, for Blender, in this case it's Sailflow 2.2 and today we're going to discuss how to create a complex profile of the sail which is a, a profile which changes depending from the height from the mast uh, from the let's say from the boom to the top of the mast using NURBS curves. <coughs> the motivation for it uh, when you see uh, often a sail will have a different profile, a different height of the sail. This is a quantum sail Brazil and they're showing in the Instagram profile this picture uh, where it seems to, to, to include a different uh, maximum depth of profile depending from the sail height. Uh, this can be an artifact of this picture, it might be not at all true but it might be interesting to actually have a different profile depending from the height of the sail, especially for very very um, tall sail because the wind speed is different from the bottom and the top of the sail. So we are going to use NURBS, NURBS curves and NURBS surfaces. How does this work? Let me first introduce you. This is the view that you have when you first open Blender. Let's remove this cube and create a curve called a NURBS curve. Okay. Um, for the ex discussion of today it's important to have endpoint U. Let me rotate around the X of 90 degrees and uh, let's rotate everything. So this is my NURBS curve. How do I edit? I press tab and I'm in edit mode and I have this well I have these four control point. As I move the control point the NURBS tend to follow them. So if I move this one, this is uh, attracted, this curve is attracted by this. But it, of course is attracted for everybody else, so it does a certain balance. Okay. In general, you can look at here, this is a weight of, extract of uh, attraction, so I can decrease it. And it, when I go to zero, it basically doesn't care about this point. When I go to one or even more, it really cares a lot. Okay, so this is one possibility, and the other, of course, is to move the control points, and this one, and so. And what I have at, at the end is something which is very natural, and very, uh, very smooth, which is very important in our case. Okay, so let's remove this, go back to a top view, and create a sail. Shift A, mesh, add a sail. I here I have the parameter of my sail. I want to have a sail of seven meter, and I want to have the tool generating the panel. Division subdivision four is a good number, and then the leech of five percent. And I have this sail. Okay, very quick. I have my sail. How do I create a profile of the sail? Sail flow provides you with a certain uh, possibility, which is a profile generator, and it has embedded certain features, which I describe in a, in a different video. Okay, but what if I want to do something more complex? The way to do it is that I use this create NURL profile and then I manually edit the NURBS. So let me show how it does it work. When I press that it will create first two NURBS curves, the one we just saw before, on the top on the bottom of the sail. And here uh, the sail flow asks me how many of these curves we want. So I can put more and I think I can go up to 10. Um, 10 curve if I want. And at the end, what is going to happen is that Blender will create a surface interpolating all these curves. So this curve has to be seen as section of the sail I want, sail profile I want to obtain. For the purpose of this exercise, let me put four of them, and because otherwise I will spend the whole um, 30 minutes just uh, tuning these curves. And now I have only four, of course, two in the center and top and bottom. Right, so. The way I, I, I can edit them is moving them the way I want, okay, but this is difficult to do, especially in this view. What I would suggest you to do is to press Ctrl Alt Q and go in this way, in this view, which is native of Blender, which is right orthographic, front orthographic, top orthographic, and the usual, uh, let's say, pers uh, user perspective. Okay, so this I see from the top, this I see from sitting on the green line, which is a Y line, and this is sitting on the exit line, which is a red line. Okay, so I'm seeing from this side, and here I'm seeing from this side. Now, let's suppose I want, so let's suppose I want to, sorry, here, okay, let's suppose I want now to edit the curves. 
I can do it here like that or I can um, select the point here and edit here but the best way I would suggest you to do it is to select one of the curve you want to um, to modify first and hide every, everything else so you press H and you hide everything that you don't want to see after you have selected them and you only have the curve you want to edit if now I press G and Z I can move it only on the Z and I can create a symmetrical curve, a symmetrical section like right now, right now uh, with the width that I want. How do I know what is the, the depth that I want? I go to measurement here I press and drag and I see that this is 13 centimeter. I click and I drag and this is 3 meters. So I have a 3 meter width with a depth of 13 centimeter, which is probably something I want. That's exactly the depth I want. By the way, if you want to know how to use a measurement tool, you can go on internet and find a tutorial on Blender on this specific feature on YouTube. Alright? So let's do the, the rest. I press Alt and H and in this case I reveal all the hidden. Let me enable the screencast and Oh, it is enabled and hopefully it will show what I'm doing and now I want to edit this one so I select oops I I was still in in this mode uh, okay whatever so let me say select tool I select what I want to hide and I press H to hide them and now I have only this sorry this one and the one on the bottom let me go oops let me select only the top control point and press GZ so to constrain the movement on G and what do I, what do, I do? I have a curve which is um, like the previous one and more or less at the same height as you probably can see now um, let me center it a bit but maybe I want to have something which is more forward depth okay okay um let me let me hide this uh, from oops let me hide this uh, from view i only have this so where is now my maximum depth i go to measurement mode and i can say all oh, right this is my point oh there is still 13 centimeter but is one meter from one in one side and 1.5 meters so it is what is it two third uh, forward okay so it's not exactly as the one in the bottom he has the maximum depth more towards the mast press alt H I see them all again and this time I want to tune this one in relation to this okay so what do I do I select the one on the bottom and the one on the top which I don't want to see and I press H and I, now I have this let me do a similar procedures and before I select the two control points on the top GZ I go down so I make it let's say flatter because maybe it's in the top take me this one more sorry more on the front something like that maybe this one also more in the front or so even more okay and I'm happy of course as before I can use a measurement tool unfortunately now uh, with the keyboard I have in this very moment I don't know ah, okay how to do it how to remove measurements uh, you go until the beginning of one of measurement you can move it and press H and then, sorry um, X and then it goes away so these are the tools and I tune it and the last one let me remove this one as well and the last one I need to do it is on the um, so sorry alt h and i need to do the one on the on the top and the one i don't even need to isolate it because the only thing i want is to have it completely on the bottom okay now i have tuned all my curves i could have more and do more tuning whatever on this side what i have i have a lateral view which is useful to know what is my depth in relation to the height of the sail and suppose that i like this one or i don't like it i would like to have let's say this one bit more high with respect to the rest this is how you tune the various depth as depending from the height but now I have that okay now I've done everything that I need to be done 
So I can press Ctrl, Alt and Q again and I have the perspective view again um, and I have my sail. Now in this way still with the in this view I can press A and I have all my console points selected and if I press F now a, a surface is created. Okay, I hope you can appreciate it now is a surface. Uh, by the way, by seeing the control points, you can see also how the maximum depth move. Okay, and it does in a, and it does it in a smooth way. Okay, and I'm ready to do my sale. Just to give you an example, let me select this one and duplicate it and move it a bit to the side, like now. Uh, if I want to do something crazy now, like um, uh, let me put again in perspective view. If I want in um, uh, in this specific view, if I want to do something crazy, for instance this one in particular, I want to move it very much here in the back together with this. So I, I put actually my maximum curvature all the way back in uh, in the curve, and this one I want to go very much uh, high in this. Um, in these things, the um, control Q again. Blender try to accommodate my request. You see, in a smooth way. So that is a, a very important. Let's put it in wireframe. That is a very important feature because it becomes still very smooth. It is very smooth, a very smooth surface. Let me let me show you in this way. Taking a very shining surface. I, I hope you can appreciate now a bit better. You see, it's, it's strange, it is strange, but it still accommodates my request. Okay, I, in a way that it tried to be smooth, although this is an absurd type of profile. Okay, let's remove this, um, which is not uh, what I want. Okay, this is my surface, which is a floor nerve called, and this will act as a um, as a mold for the say uh, beneath. The only problem at the moment is that, uh, oops, sorry. The only problem at the moment is that my nerves curve is not, it's not covering the the sail below, which is uh, not uh, an ideal case. I would like really to have it covered. So one way to do it is to take these two control points, press G X and move it in a way that it actually covers okay maybe this i trim a bit until it actually covers this is an important feature because at the end you need to be covered vertically if you know what i mean if you understand what i mean uh, the the sail below okay done i need first go back from edit mode to object mode i need first to uh, transform these surfaces in a mesh. So I go to object and convert mesh from a curve. So it will create a mesh and maybe I want to say keep original and this way it will keep the sail flow nerves as a curve as a surface created by nerves but also create a mesh. Okay I'll take this and I will make it disappearing. So I only have my mesh at the moment. Okay then I go to sail and I go to this uh, key, wrench key here, and I go to shrink wrap. And I say that I want to use a safe flow nerves 01, which is a mesh version of the safe flow nerves, and I want to uh, project. Okay, and now I can hide this mold. Which is still active, it's still there, but it's simply hidden at the moment. And I see how my curves look like. Okay, you see that he has matched as a mold the the surface above, and it's very very smooth. That's what I want. Therefore, I can apply now, and I have the surface of my sail. Um, in case you have some trouble and you want to avoid trouble, you can use this cleanup, degenerate, dissolve. But in this case. There was no degenerate because it's a mathematical process that Blender does, and sometimes it creates some kind of issues. Okay, so now I go back to Safe Flow and I say develop all faces, and voila, I have all my panel 
let's hide the cell, I have all my panel that will make exactly the shape I want. Okay, I hope this is interesting for you, I think it was a very interesting um, development for me because it really make a complete freedom and um, with this you can actually design any profile you want because once you have a NURB, uh, um, sorry, once you have a NURB, um, a NURB like this one I was showing before, uh, you can have um, any profile you want, you just need to modify this point and you can copy for instance any uh, airflow uh, profile that you find in database, you find on internet, you just can copy it, have it here displayed as an image and copy it and then use them to make your save. Okay, thank you very much, I hope you enjoyed, if you really enjoyed use it and let me know because I'm really curious. Uh, thank you very much guys.